Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Luminescent, a UA5 short that was sent to me by Row2 Entertainment. Now, this video right here is actually two folds. Uh, number one, I'm checking out this video that they sent me, but B, or two, I'm actually trying the new Perception PN3 once again for live streaming. As you all know, I did the Xsense previously in my previous video, but I wanted to go ahead and check out the PN3 as well, just to see if it'll work in a scenario like this where I'm just kind of sitting and, you know, VTubing and stuff like that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out this video and we'll talk about it a little bit. Meister. Mom. I better go through. Wow. Some pretty impressive water there. Reflections are pretty nice. Huh. Nice waterfall too, man. That's yeah, this, awesome. this environment is incredible. Mm, some smells suspicious. That's brilliant. Hey, what? Zoom. Zoom. Pinch. Zoom. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <That's> creepy. <laughs> Skeleton with a VR goggles on. It's pretty fun. Okay, hardcore. That's very interesting. This underwater scene. So that part right there, that had to be real. Man. That that looked too good. Man, this here is is could be faked. Little Hibaro flashlight. Wow, it's pretty cool. Wonder if it's Niagara. This is intense. <laughs> wow. 
wow. That's pretty crazy. So, Emir Sturman is actually the one that sent me this video to check out because obviously I think he found my my channel on YouTube or whatever. But to me, I've seen the train station Unreal Engine video. This definitely trumps that. This this is incredible, and it's all rendered in Lumen as well. I talked to him about this short. This is insane, man. This is... I've been wanting to do something like this, like Blair Witch Project type of feel to it with Hibaro in there, sci-fi monster. This is all within my realm, but it is so freaking cool to see studios using Unreal Engine because they can come up with some amazing stuff. Granted, I'm pretty sure I think he said it's a pretty small team that he's got. But man, this is an incredible, incredible short. And I'm pretty sure this is going to go viral. I hope it goes viral because, my goodness. Uh, as far as some of the environment, he said he actually modeled majority of the props in here in addition to... Um, mega scans, Quixel mega scans assets like the uh, trees and the little green grass, whatever, the leaves and whatnot. But my gosh, I mean, the question I asked for him actually, I know they were trying to go for the phone, cell phone look thing, you know, handheld things. But I was actually wondering if he had like a full screen, widescreen landscape version of this, because so I can kind of see the entire environment, because. As you all know, I, I'm kind of getting tired of all the environment videos on YouTube when it comes to Unreal. But when you add story to it, like this did, oh man, I'm never going to get tired of this right here. Oh, wow, dude. And again, the water here looked really nice. The waterfall, the reflections, Lumen. I, I got to double check because this is supposedly Lumen, but... That, that water reflection looked really freaking good. I'm curious how uh, he was able to pull that off. Was that hardware, the new hardware ray tracing lumen, or the old traditional one? Definitely got some questions, but man, really well done. The night shots were perfect. I think YouTube kind of ruined this a little bit. Like the contrast, this was a little bit too dark. But sometimes YouTube does that. But overall, my goodness, this right here, this is what really excites me about Unreal and real-time filmmaking because you have individuals like him who can create something like this. Pretty crazy, man. Again, this monster, holy crap, this monster looks good. So, yeah, I mean, when you have a monster that looks like this, I am definitely, and especially when it started lighting up, like, in the dark. How cool was that, man? Like, I really wish you will continue this story here. But this quality here, again, is top-notch. And I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself. It is just so well freaking done. The camera shake wasn't too much. It wasn't dizzying. It was just perfect. The motion blur was on point. Well done, dude. Thank you for sharing this with me. This is an amazing short. And I really hope it goes viral. Because it deserves it. Freaking amazing, dude. And again, I love watching these high quality shorts because I'm training my eye. So when I'm making something, I can know what good looks like. And I can, I can kind of use it as reference. But jeez. Anyways, let me, let me know in the comments below what y'all think. And honestly, I'm using the PN3 again for the body mocap right now for like sitting down. My left shoulder is kind of jacked up because I had my arm on the armrest of my chair. But overall, man, it didn't drift or anything like that. I had it at hip lock. This is my first time actually live streaming facial and body with Perception Neuron 3 and Face Good. So again, this is more like a test. And instead of me just talking, I went ahead and checked out Luminescent, 
which is a UE5 short film. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you comments below what y'all think about this short. If y'all have any questions, let me know. And again, thank you for 60,000 subscribers. I am 40,000 away. And uh, hopefully I can make that goal this year. Peace out.